Hello people, in this video let us look at membranous conjunctivitis. So membranous conjunctivitis means what? There is some membrane which is forming on the conjunctiva. Right? Uh, so this you can have two types. You can have true membrane or you can have pseudo membrane. True membrane usually you will see uh, if it is caused because of uh, Corvini bacterium diphtheria, the bacteria. And pseudo membrane can be because of bacteria like streptococcus pyogenes, the hemolyticus, um, adenovirus, herpes virus, right? Steven Johnson syndrome, toxic epidermal necrosis, because of lot of reasons, pseudo membranes can be there. Okay, so what you should know: conjunctivitis itself, you can have of two types. You can have, uh, base, sorry, you can have based on the exudate, so many types. In that, you can have membranous and pseudo membranous. Like we told you, a membranous will be diphtherial, right? Actually, this is true membranous. You can see, and pseudo membranous, you can have bacterial, viral. Other causes also can be there. So this one is showing a pseudo membrane, right? So let's move on now. Membrane is conjunctivitis. Who is the cause? The Corvini bacterium diphtheria. It's a bacteria. Uh, it causes what? Acute membrane is conjunctivitis. These are not at all common nowadays. And um, look at some images. Okay, wait. You know what the Corvini bacterium diphtheria is, right? So they are gram positive, right? They are gram positive L shaped, V shaped um, bacteria. They resemble Chinese letter pattern. This green one you are seeing is the Albert stain for the same Corvini bacterium diphtheria. And actually this uh, diphtheria can lead to a pseudo membrane over the tonsil. You can see the pseudo membrane over the tonsil. But in the conjunctiva, what is it causing? It is causing a true membrane. So yes, these are gram-positive bacilli. Okay. So what is the cause of the true membrane? Corvini bacterium diphtheria. There was another uh, sentence here. Paralysis of accommodation, extraocular muscles it can cause it. Paralysis of accommodation it can lead to. Okay. So this can lead to membranous conjunctivitis, corneal ulceration, paralysis of accommodation, paralysis of extraocular muscles. So it causes all these problems in the eye. What in all? Membranous conjunctivitis. That's what we're looking at. Corneal ulceration, paralysis of accommodation and paralysis of extraocular muscles. So all this, this uh, bacteria can lead to. So basically, it is very difficult to differentiate membranous uh, true and pseudo membrane. It is very difficult. Okay, true membranous and pseudo membranous types cannot be distinguished easily. But one thing you can remember: the true one is caused by Corvini bacterium diphtheria. This one, it is difficult to remove, and if it is removed, it will lead to bleeding. Whereas the pseudo membrane, it is easy to remove. It will not. Uh, it will be much thinner, and it will not lead to much bleeding. So what can uh, this uh, membrane lead to? So this membrane can lead to secondary cicatricial conjunctivitis, conjunctival xerosis, drying of the eye, trichiasis, where there is uh, eyelashes uh, which are uh, inward and they are hurting, right? Entropion, inward, uh, infolding of the eyelid, simbleferon, where there is the lid sticking to the eyeball. So basically the palpebral and the bulbar conjunctiva will stick to each other. So here you can see the palpebral conjunctiva is sticking to the bulbar conjunctiva. So that is simbleferon, right? Then what else can happen because of these membranes? Alstline, that can be scarring tissue on conjunctiva. Alstline, look at this. Alstline. So this is the scar tissue on the conjunctiva. Here, where, on which conjunctiva? On the palpebral conjunctiva, they are showing the alstline. So all these are the problems because of these membranes. So basically removal of this membrane is not required, um, especially if it's true membrane, it can lead to bleeding, etc. But if it is pseudo membrane, they can remove um, easily, especially they are telling in adenovirus uh, membrane treatment, they are mentioning can remove. So what exactly is the treatment? Guys, if it is diphtherial, then give penicillin. It's the drug of choice. You should take this injectable preparation of penicillin and from that you will freshly prepare these drops. Okay, so you will give intensive topical uh, okay intensive topical and systemic administration you will give 
systemic administration with prompt injection of anti diphtheric serum so you are giving anti diphtheric serum that is for if it is diphtheria what if it is um, pseudo membrane pseudo membrane can be caused by what and all pseudo membrane can be caused because of streptococcus pyogenes the hemolyticus right then um, uh, adenovirus that is epidemic epidemic keratoconjunctivitis right that is uh, adenovirus type 8 type 19 herpes virus right herpes conjunctivitis steven johnson syndrome toxic epidermal necrosis all these you have to remember so these are the causes of pseudo membranous conjunctivitis so what will you uh, what will be the treatment here again they are saying same thing penicillin with bacitracin they are adding okay systemic local both treatment so they are saying the streptococcal uh, can uh, lead to necrosis of the cornea okay so it can lead to necrosis of cornea so that is why they are treating it immediate immediate local and systemic treatment with bacitracin and penicillin careful observation is required so in this we looked at membranous conjunctivitis there is true membranous conjunctivitis or just it can be called as membranous conjunctivitis and pseudo membranous conjunctivitis which is actually by streptococcus pyogenes adenovirus herpes virus steven johnson syndrome and toxic epidermal necrosis okay true membrane very difficult to differentiate from pseudo membrane and uh, if you leave this then what will happen it can lead to simpliferon uh, trichiasis entropion lot of other things so how will they treat this with penicillin right that's all you have to remember if it is bacterial right if it is bacterial they are giving penicillin that is if it is cornivine bacterium diphtheria or streptococcus pyogenes then penicillin for the others adenovirus they said you can try to remove the membrane right okay hope you understood this membranous conjunctivitis bye bye